Hey everybody, as always, I hope you're doing well out there. Today I'm going to be doing a quick video to walk you through how to adjust the heading settings on the navigation of your Garmin Instinct watch. Now, I'm using the Garmin Instinct Solar. It doesn't matter if you're using one of the solar versions or non-solar versions. This video is going to be the same for everybody. I'll also start by saying this is kind of a confusing topic. I'm going to do my best to explain it. Um, just know that after this video, you'll still probably be confused. It's a setting that's probably easier to understand by setting it, going out and doing some navigation, navigation and seeing how it works. I'm gonna try and show you that sitting still, but it might not come through uh, so well without being up and moving towards a destination. So what exactly am I talking about? There's a couple different ways we can get to this setting. My way of preference is to hold down the menu button, it's the middle button on the left-hand side, and then use the up or down button to go to settings, press GPS to select settings. Again, use the up or down button to go to navigation, press GPS to select navigation, and then we're gonna go down to type. There's two different types that you can choose when navigating. You've got bearing, you've got course. Bearing means the pointer is always gonna point you to the direction of your destination. Course means it's going to draw a course for you and then it's going to show you your relationship to the course that it's gonna lead you to your destination. So let's start with course. Maybe that would be the easiest one to start with. I've selected course, I'm just gonna press the back button. Now we're gonna go navigate. Now, this behavior will act a little bit different if you're navigating to a saved course, a saved activity or saved location. I'm just gonna do a saved location because I think that's the easiest one to show you. I only have one saved location on my watch, so we'll navigate to that. I'll let the GPS connect. Now again, we're doing course is our heading setting. The GPS is connected. I'm gonna start navigating. You'll notice my pointer is showing the direction I need to go to get to the course that's leading me to my destination. You'll also notice that there is a start point and there's an end point. I can press and hold the menu button just like in any navigation screen. And I can zoom in and see where it is that I'm navigating to. Actually, let me zoom out a little bit and then we'll navigate to it. Let me zoom out even more. There we go. There's my end point. So I've got a start point, an end point, and a course that's leading me there. The pointer is showing me where I need to go to get to the course that's leading me to my destination. If I navigate off of the course, I'll get an off course alert if I've got that set up. It's gonna treat it just like a course navigation. That's course. So let's stop this and let's go change it to bearing. I'm gonna discard the activity. Oops. And now we're going to go back to where we went before, but we're going to change our heading setting to bearing. So again, settings, navigation, type, bearing. I'm going to go back and I'm going to navigate to the exact same safe location as we did before. Now again, now we're doing bearing is our heading versus course. My GPS is connected. I'm gonna start navigating. Everything kind of looks the same, but what you'll notice now is I've still got a pointer, but I've got a direct line that gets me to my destination of choice. There's no start point and there's no end point. There's just a line showing me how to get to my destination. No matter where I go, whether I get off course or on course, it's gonna always redraw that line to get me to my destination. Whereas in course mode, it's gonna make a predefined course to get me there, and it's gonna tell me whether or not I'm on course or not, and it's gonna try and show me my relation to that course. Bearing mode is always just gonna draw a direct line between where I am and where I need to go to get to my destination. Those are your two different options with heading settings. I hope that makes sense. If you've got any questions, post them in the comments. I'd be happy to explain it more or answer any questions. Thanks for watching.